In our Finch Robot program so far, you've mo used most of the methods for the Finch Robot, but there's one that we haven't used yet, and that's acceleration. That uses the, the gyroscope in the Finch Robot that lets you know how the Finch Robot is oriented. So we're going to use the acceleration method in this program. We're going to call it Finch Which Way. For this program, you will use another method in the Finch class, the acceleration. Let's just take a look at the information about this method. This is from the help that you can also see the resources on the website. The acceleration method is going to return five different values. Now we've had them returning just two values before. This time it's going to return five. So X, Y, and Z, and that's going to be like your three-dimensional orientation and then also tap and shake. X, Y, and Z are going to read a number between negative 1.5 and 1.5. And then here's some examples of how you might use these numbers. If the finch is horizontal, which means the finch is level, Z is going to be close to 1, but the X and Y are going to be close to 0. If the finch stands on its tail, that means the beak is up, Y and Z are close to zero, but X is going to be close to negative one. So this is going to be some helpful information to you. What if the beak is down? What do you think X would be close to? When the finch is held with its left wing down, which means the right wing is up, X and Y are close to zero, but Y is close to one. So if you think that if the left wing is up, what would Y be close to? Now tap and shake are just Boolean. They're going to be true or false. So it's not going to return an integer or a float. It's just going to return true or false. Yes, it was tapped or no. And yes, it was shaken or no. The acceleration is always going to return these five values. So whenever you call acceleration method, you have to assign it to these five values. Otherwise, you're going to be getting some errors. After you get the five values, then you can just take any one or two of them that you want to use, but whenever you call acceleration, you must assign it to five values. So here's our program description. For this program, you will use the method acceleration to determine which way the finch is oriented. We're going to break this program down into several functions because no function should do very many things. Now the main function is going to do the most because it's like the worker horse. So it's going to do all these different things, but after this each function should just do one thing. So orient function is just going to do one thing, and it's going to call a lot of helper boolean functions that are each just going to do one thing. Sometimes beginners want to have functions do more than one thing, maybe two things, but I would just really encourage you to limit it to one thing and divide it up a lot and it will make things simpler in the end and when you apply these functions and these concepts to other programs. So our other functions, our orient function is just going to call boolean functions. That's all it's going to do, one thing. It's going to display a message if something is true and change the B color and um, it's going to use the finch object and at least one orientation variable as parameters. The boolean helper functions are you're going to have one for each orientation possibility. So think about the different ways that a finch can be oriented. Beak up, beak down, wing up, wing down, that kind of thing. Each different possibility will have its own function that's going to return true or false. And it will also have parameters, the finch itself and the orientation variables. So to begin the program, you're going to be in Python 2.7. Start a new file, give it a name, use your name as part of the name. So Finch which way in your name. And you're going to save the Finch module in your student account. Get that already set and out of the way. I would encourage you to put your comment block at the top and import at least these two uh, modules. Then I want you to start with the main function. You might as well kind of start from the bottom and build up. The main function is going to initialize a counter, define the finch object, get the values from acceleration, start a loop, and inside that loop you're going to call the orient function. You're also going to increment the counter, you know, do some displaying, little things like that to make it user friendly. So think about how you do each one of these steps. 
Can you do it on your own? I encourage you to do as much programming code as you can on your own and then I will show you some code to help you out if you need it. So your main function could look something like this. We're going to initialize our count. I'm going to go ahead and start my loop. Increment. Here I'm defining my Finch object. I'm getting my values from acceleration. Remember I have to have parentheses. I'm using dot notation. And I have to assign it to five different variables. I'm just going to throw in a print to make it all user friendly when I'm seeing the output so I know which iteration I'm on. And then I'm going to call the orient function and I'm going to pass in a whole bunch of values here. I'm going to halt and close. Now this one is like not absolutely necessary, but I found that when I'm looking for a value for tap and shake, it works better. It's more accurate if I close it and then do a new object each time. So you'll just kind of see halt and close. And then with each iteration of my loop, I'm going to declare a new Finch object and get its values. So you can try it with or without doing this. And then I have a sleep, so it's going to do my loop every two seconds. Of course, I'm going to call main. Don't forget that important part. Now for my orient function, I'm going to call each Boolean helper function that tells the orientation of the Finch. One orientation at a time. So beak up, beak down right wing up, right wing down, etc. Call each one separately in an if statement. So I'm going to have an if statement for every helper function instead of one if elif statement. And that's just because I can have more than one result. Maybe the beak is up and it's level or the, you know, I can have more than one orientation. So if I have one if elif statement, it's only going to give me one orientation. Each one separately, I will check each one. So the orient function is going to start like this. I'm going to be using all of these parameters. And I'm going to, this beak up is going to be a helper boolean function. Beak down is a boolean function. This is what's going to happen if it's true. I'm going to turn the beak some color. And I suggest that you have a different color for each if statement. That will also help you do some good testing. And I have a print statement for each one. So if the beak is up, I'm going to print beak up. If the beak is down, I'm going to print beak down. These are Boolean functions, true or false. I don't have to make it equal to anything because it's true or false as it is. So if true, it's going to return a true value or a false value. If it's false, it skips it. Same thing here. If true, it'll do it. If false, it'll skip it. Now as I add more Boolean functions, I will add more if statements to my, or, to my orient function. My Boolean helper functions are going to be fairly short. I'm going to use these values from the acceleration to, to determine the orientation of the finch. It's going to have at least two parameters, and I'm going to show you an example where it could have more, and it's going to return true or false. So your basic Boolean function will look like this. If the beak is up, and I'm going to go back to my reference, my resource materials, what kind of values will X have if the beak is up? And it said it's going to be close to 1. Well, I don't need to see if it's exactly 1. I want it to be close to 1, to negative 1. So I've just selected less than negative 0.7. If that's the case, I return true. I didn't really need the finch, but it doesn't hurt to have it there. Or I'm going to return false. So if the beak is down, it's going to be the opposite. So I'm going to look for greater than 7. It's going to be close to 1. So I've got some basic functions like this. Oh, uh, Boolean helper functions. Notice that it just does one thing. I don't try to do two things. It's only going to be able to return one value anyway. Now, when you read the information at an acceleration where it talked about if the beak is up, if it's on its tail, it says that x was close to negative 1. It also mentioned that y and z should be close to 0. So here's an optional modification that you can use if you want to. So I can add in the z being so right here, these two things, if it's greater than negative 0.3 and less than 0.3, then it's going to be close to 0. Same thing with my y's. And I, so I can add this in, extra testing, just to be more precise about if the beak is up or beak is down. One thing I forgot to put in here, so if you include this option, then make sure that you also include y and z. So don't just put x as your parameter, but you'd also need x, y, and z. Same thing here.
So here's the basis of your program. This is just doing the beak up and beak down. You get this much and of course using incremental development you're going to go ahead and test this and make sure it works. You might have to adjust your numbers but you want to just orient the finch with the beak up and see if when you run it it says beak up. You put the beak down and if you run it see if it says beak down. Get that to work before you go any further. Then what? Well now you're going to add more. So if you've got those two Boolean helper functions, uh, you're going to add more. So you might do left wing up and right wing up. Do more Boolean helper functions and call them in the orient function. Use a different print message and a different B color for these two helper functions. Once you get those, then try the next one, level and upside down. And if you have time, I'd also encourage you to do tap and shake. When, if you, when you're adding these things, you should not need to change the main function. You should just be adding Boolean helper functions and modifying your orient function. But I do have some challenges. So if you've got everything working and you have some extra time, maybe you want to take up these challenges. You could add a buzzer for each orientation. So a different buzz for each way, just like different beat color, can give you some more good testing. Then if you want a real challenge, change the while loop. So instead of counting 10 times, find a different way for the while loop to end. It could be uh, shining a light on the light sensor. It could be when the finch is upside down. So be a little bit creative. Think outside the box. And so these are some extra challenges. If you have time, uh, try them out and see what you can do with your finch which way. Here's the ones that are required. So you're already going to do beak up and beat down, right wing up, left wing up, level upside down. Optional is is it tapped and is it shaken? So go ahead and have a good time with this program.